My name is Melissa Druskis and I'm a board certified behavior analyst. Today I'm going to show you how to make a data sheet part two. In this video, we're going to focus on how to add program details, use programs with multiple targets, and programs based on task analysis. All right, now that we have this general template built, let's see what we can do with it with specific programs. So let's say that program one is a program for following instructions. Program two, respond to name. And program three could be prompts for eye contact during conversation. So here is the space where I write my details in for the therapists. So I like to give them different fonts so that it's clear to see um, the different sections of the details. So in the beginning, I will write score percentage per 20, because that's what we're scoring this percentage out of. And I don't want somebody to get to 10 and then give me a percentage because that won't work in my graph. Next, uh, we can write the SD or the instruction, which this one would be one step instructions by therapist. And then we can include the prompt level as well, which this could be independent prompt. Uh, you can also include the reinforcement schedule on here. So let's say the reinforcement schedule for that is a VR2. Now I have this a little bit bigger so you can see it, but it actually can even be down to a font size of six and you can still read it when it's printed out. But for now, let's just do an eight so you can still read it on this video. So we have what we are scoring the percentage out of the target or the SD, and the prompt level and reinforcement schedule. Since I want this same font carried across with the italic and underline for all of them, I'm just going to paste it all the way across. So respond to name, let's say we are scoring that per 10, and that it's respond to name by parent, and the prompt for this could be independent, and maybe this is a continuous reinforcement schedule. Now eye contact, that's not going to be a score percentage, that would be calculated as a rate per hour, and we want to tally prompts for eye contact during conversation. And for this one, there is no prompt and there's no reinforcement. We're just tallying how many times we have to prompt the client. Now, even in addition to this, we have more complicated programs that we run. So let's take a look at how we would use this for multiple targets for one program, as well as for a task analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. Let's say that we have an animal tact program. And for animal tact, let's say that we have two targets that we're working on. So Whenever I have two targets, or however many targets, I usually like to score them separately. Because if I don't, then I find that sometimes a client will have mastered one target and be having a difficult time on the second target, but be completely bored that they're still doing the first target and then the responding for the first target will go down. So for this, we want to score a percentage per 10 per target. 
let's say that target one is sheep and target two is duck. The prompt for this, we could change it to a partial verbal and continuous reinforcement. Here you can also add an SD. So just a general instruction of what the therapist should be saying to the client. And then here, in a smaller font, not 10, you could write target one and target two. So now whenever you need to change the targets, you won't have to change it in all of the cells here. You'll just have to change the target right here. So again, to move this all the way across, just like we did before, we're going to hit tab, copy, and tabbing over and hitting backspace, paste, backspace, paste, all the way across. All right, so now let's look at doing a task analysis with this type of data sheet. And you can copy any of these across to continue, continue your data sheet going down. But I'm going to be inserting a new table here, so that's why I went with this blank one. Let's say that we are working on brushing teeth. So um, at the company that I work at, when we work on brushing teeth, we work with 18 steps that we're keeping track of. We have the bottom teeth and then the top teeth. And then in each of those sections, we work on the outside, the surface, and then the inside of the teeth. And then we score the left, the middle, and the right. So to start out with, we're going to need one row for the bottom or top, one for the location, outside, surface, or inside, and then one for right, middle, or left, and then an additional one for the score. So that's going to be four going across. So we're going to insert a table with four, and I'm going to go ahead and start out with three. To start with, I'm going to merge these cells, these right here. So we want to go to layout and then merge cells. I'm going to do the same thing here, merge cells. And the reason why I'm merging these is because this is where it's going to say bottom, and this is where it's going to say outside, surface, or inside. So if I type that, it's going to go across and mess up all of my cells. So I want to merge them, and then we're going to change the direction of the text so that it's written this way and not changing the size of the cells. So I'm going to select text direction, and now you see how that changed and it's going down. I'm going to click it one more time because I want it to go from the bottom up. So here, I'm going to write outside. Actually, I'm going to undo that and change the font first. Let's see if 8 would be big enough. Nope. Let's go with six. I know that looks really tiny, but you really can see it when you print it out. Same thing here. We want to go to layout, change the text direction, and we're going to change the size to six. And here we don't need to merge this because this is where we're going to have the individual scores per area. Still going to change the font size. I'm going to center it in the middle of the cell. And this is where we're going to have left, middle, and then right. So we have a good set for the first three scores. So we can just copy this and paste this all the way down. So this will be outside the surface of the teeth, and then the inside. A 
have no idea what I typed there. There we go. All right, so I don't want to type bottom, bottom, and bottom into all of these, so I'm going to merge it again. And I probably could have just waited and merged it all together at the end, but I did not do that. And now we're going to type bottom. And let's have that in the middle there. I also just want that in the middle. And that's just me being picky on how it looks. So now we have this for bottom. We can copy that. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating space so I can put my cursor right here. Because what happens if I hit enter and then I paste it, it looks all crazy. So we don't want that. So you want your cursor to not be in this table, right below the table is where you want it, and then you can paste it. And this would be the top teeth. And let's make some of these a little smaller, because I'd like to get it all on one page. So the reason why I needed more space is because down here at the bottom, just like where we have this for the percentages, usually I will just write what we're scoring it. So again, I'm hitting the shift and the dash key, slash 18, because there's 18 steps. So then the therapist should write how many steps out of 18 they got correct. And now we'll want to write the details in here. So I'm italicizing that, and we're going to score per total steps. And the SD is the therapist would tell the client, brush your teeth. And we want the client to brush each area four to six seconds. And then typically, whenever I'm doing brushing teeth, I have different prompts for different areas because brushing the inside of the teeth is harder to turn the wrist the correct way to get it. So I will have a prompt for the inside And that might be a full physical. And the prompt for the outside and the surface might just be gesture. And just deleting all of those spaces that we don't need. And then again, to get this on all of the other cells, you tab, copy, and paste. So that is how you make a data sheet for various types of programs and data collection methods. If you have any questions or comments, just put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, the next video will be going over how to create a data sheet for behavior. Thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to visit my website at www.abcbehaviortx.com. Here you will find resources and templates from this and other videos, my ABA blog covering a wide range of topics for therapists and parents, and information on my other services such as distance supervision and parent coaching.